All right, so we are going to talk about dimensional analysis in ChemQuest 6. Um, I am very particular about how you solve problems in chemistry. Again, many of the ones on this ChemQuest are pretty simple and straightforward, and I realize that you probably could do them in your head or just by you moving the fraction. However, what's important right now is that you learn how to set up the problems because the problems will not stay so simple. So dimensional analysis is a way of treating the units, which are also called dimensions, um, of treating the units like they're algebraic letters. And so you're going to make those algebraic letters, those units, cancel out or cross out by having them in the numerator and the denominator. So the example problem on the ChemQuest is that you have 3.75 centimeters and you want to know how many meters this is. And again, this is where you need to remember your metric system. So the King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Oops. Okay, so again, we're going to always start with our given, and we're converting here. So we always start with our given, and again, the idea is that we're treating this like it's a fraction. If it's easier for you to think of it being over 1, that's fine. So centimeters are in the numerator, which means for them to cancel out, I'm going to need them to be in the denominator down here. So I'm going to put centimeters here. And because I'm trying to change to meters, I'm going to put meters on the top. Now I use that metric system. So remember, we want to decide which one of these units is larger. Is it a meter or a centimeter? And because meter is base, Okay, which is here, and centimeter is here, the meter is larger, so I make it equal to 1. Then to figure out how many centimeters it is, I count. So I move 1, 2, so it's a 1 with two zeros. The other way I can write that is 10 to the second. So centimeters have canceled out, which means that my answer is left in the units of meter, which is what I want. And because 100 is in the denominator, I am going to divide, oops, <laughs> I'm going to divide by this number, which is why back when you were in middle school, your teacher just told you to move the decimal place two places to the left. So our answer is 0 0.0375 meters. And again, the reason it's 0 0.0375 meters is because you moved the dust, you were dividing by 100, which means you moved the decimal place two places to the left. Again, your middle school teachers thought that you were not able to understand that. That's why you learned the metric system going left to right instead of up and down. So question number one asks, if you were converting 42 grams into kilograms, okay, which fraction would you use as a converting factor? So again, that idea is that I'm going to start with my 42 grams. And again, I can think of that being over 1 if I need to. Because grams is in the top, it's going to have to go here on the bottom. So grams is going to go here. And kilograms is going to go on the top. So my grams are going to cancel out. I'll be left with kilograms. And again, that question of which is larger, okay? So again, grams and kilograms. The kilogram is larger. So a kilogram is 1. And when you move down, it's 3. So it's 1,000. So the correct answer was letter C because this is the convert the conversion factor that you have to use. Um, number two, how many meters 
are in 32.5 kilometers is how many meters? So again, we start with our 32.5 kilometers. We always start with our given. Kilometers is in the numerator, so it has to go in the denominator. And meters are going to go in the numerator. Kilometers are going to cancel out. Kilometer is our larger unit, and it's 1,000 because we have to move three places. This time, because the 1,000 is in the numerator, that means we're going to multiply by it, which makes our answer 32,500 meters. Again, your middle school teachers really thought, in some ways, that you couldn't understand that the reason you were taught to move the decimal place three times, right, to the right, um, was because you were multiplying by 1,000 here. So again, although I know that these problems are simple enough that you could just do them like you did in middle school and move the decimal place, it's really important that you're learning how to set up these problems properly. So our question number three on our ChemQuest asks, if we have 32.5 liters, how many microliters is that? Again, we still start with our given 32.5 liters. Liters will have to go on the bottom. Microliters have to go on the top. Okay, we're going to be left with our answer in microliters. Our liter is larger because that's the base. And so when we go back here, okay, again, here's our base. Here's our microliter. So we're going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. This is probably one that is going to be easier to write it as 10 to the sixth, which means our answer is 3. 0.25 times 10 to the seventh microliters. So that's how we do this. Again, important that you're setting up your problem correctly. Now, your um, the person who wrote this ChemQuest goes with this whole idea about base units and non-base units. Um, I don't think you need to worry a whole lot about that. So I like just doing one conversion factor if that's possible. Question number four asks, if you have 40 kilometers, how many centimeters is that? I don't want you to break it up into three steps. If it makes sense to you to break it up into three steps, that's okay, but it's not necessary. To do this one, Again, I start with my 40 kilometers, that's my given. Kilometers will have to go on the bottom, okay, because it's in the numerator to start and now it's in the denominator and I'm converting to centimeters. Again, kilometers are larger and, okay, when I'm going, here's my kilometer, here's my centimeter. So one, two, three, four, five. So 10 to the fifth, which means we have an answer of four times 10 to the sixth centimeters. or 4 billion centimeters. Again, I personally think that it's a lot easier to do these in one step as opposed to two, multiple steps. So for number five, where they ask you to take 34,500 milliliters and figure out how many kiloliters that is, Again, I would do it in one step. So I start with my 34,500 milliliters. Milliliters are in the numerator, so now they have to go in the denominator. Kiloliters is going to go in the top. A kiloliter is larger. So
So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 to the 6. Again, this time I'm going to take 34,500 and divide it by 10 to the 6, which effectively means I'm going to move the decimal to the left 6 times, which means our answer is 0 0.03450 kiloliters. And again, in terms of significant figures, realistically, I shouldn't have these zeros here because in this number, I only have three significant digits. And so I only want to have three significant digits here. Question number six says we have point zero zero. 3, 5 kilometers, and we want, to, we want to know how many micrometers that is. So again, um, here's King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Here's my micro. So 0 0.0035 kilometers. Kilometers will be on the bottom. Micrometers will be on the top. Kilometers are canceling out. A kilometer is larger, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to the ninth. So this is going to be an answer of 3.5 times 10 to the sixth micrometers, or we could write it as 3,500,000 micrometers. It doesn't matter to me whether you write your answer in scientific notation or not. So again, I personally find it easier to do these in one step. Question number seven asks if I have 1.45 megagrams, how many grams is that? So here, here we have mega, king, Henry died, by, right? And there's my base. So again, I start with 1.45 megagrams. Megagrams have to go on the bottom. Grams go on the top. A megagram is larger. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 to the 6th, which means my answer is 1.45 times 10 to the 6th grams. or 1,450,000 grams. Question number eight, 2.5 kilograms. How many milligrams is that? Again, 2.5 kilograms. Kilograms on the bottom, milligrams on the top. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So kilogram is larger. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten to the sixth. Two point five times ten to the sixth milligrams. Or two million five hundred thousand milligrams. So again, I realize most of these have been simple enough that you could have done them like you learned in middle school where you were just moving decimal places. Number nine comes to our first one that is not that way. It tells us that one AMU equals 1.66 times 10 to the negative 20 
fourth okay, uh, grams. Using a conversion factor, find the number of grams in 345 AMUs. We want to know how many grams that is. So this information that they gave us here, this is for our conversion factor. Again, our given is the 345 AMUs. AMUs need to be in the bottom. Grams are going to be on the top. AMUs have canceled out, so my answer is left in grams, which is what I want. Now, it tells us 1 AMU is 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24th grams. So the question becomes, should I multiply these numbers together or divide them? I should multiply them because this 1.66 is in the numerator, as is the 345 AMUs. So when you do that on your calculator, and this is a good one for everyone to do on their calculator, remember you're going to put 1.66 in as 1.66e-24. Okay? You should get an answer of 5. 0.72 times 10 to the negative 22nd grams. Um, if you, this is a good one for everyone to do on their calculator, if you struggle with this on your calculator, um, getting the correct answer, find someone in the room who did get the right answer um, and have them help you look at what you might have done incorrectly putting this into your calculator. So question number 10 ask you to do kind of a similar problem. They want you to use that 1 AMU is still the 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24th grams. This time they ask you to take the 2, start with 2.55 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams and figure out how many AMUs that is. So again, I still start with my given. Grams this time has to go on the bottom. AMUs go on the top. Again, I use the same conversion factor, and in that conversion factor, it's 1 AMU is 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24th. So again, the question this time is, should I multiply or divide? This time I'm going to take 2.55e-23 and divide it by 1.66e-24 because the 1.66 is in the denominator, which means I should divide by it. And so when you put that in your calculator, you should end up with an answer of 15.4 AMUs. Now, again, why do I write this answer as only 15.4? I'm sure your calculator gives you more decimals. That's because of significant figures. This number that I'm given to start with right here has only three sig figs. So because this has three sig figs, my answer can only have three sig figs. And so I end up with 15.4 AMUs. This conversion factor up here Okay, this. This doesn't limit significant figures because this is a definition. And remember, definitions have unlimited significant figures. So that doesn't limit our significant figures. It's just that we have the three sig figs in the 2.55 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. So number 11 asks you to make the following conversions. Okay. So in letter A, we have 24.5 milliliters. We want to know how many liters that is. So I start with my 24.5 milliliters. Milliliters need to be on the bottom. Liters are on the top. A liter is larger. It's 1,000 because I'm going to move three times. And so my answer is point. 
zero to four five liters. So again, I know that they didn't necessarily give you enough room to show your work, but it's really important to me on your paper right now, if you don't have work showing, that you add work. And when you add that work, that it looks like what I'm showing you right now. Letter B asks you to take 12.5 meters and figure out how many centimeters that is. So I start with my 12.5 meters. Meters have to go on the bottom. Centimeters go on the top. A meter is larger, it's 100 centimeters, so I'm going to multiply this time. So I'm going to get 1,250 centimeters. Letter C, 45.9 kilograms. We want to know how many milligrams that is. So again, I start with my 45 point, 45 point, nine kilograms. Kilograms go on the bottom and milligrams go on the top. A kilogram is larger and when you count down it's going to be King Henry died by Drinking chocolate milk, so one, two, three, four, oops, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten to the sixth, okay, which means we get 45,900,000 milligrams. Okay. Again, a problem like this typically is going to be worth four po five points to me. So you get a point for having the correct answer, a point for having the correct units, a point for significant figures, so that's worth a point, so there's three, and then you're going to get two points for having your work shown correctly using dimensional analysis. Letter D, we have 3.45 times 10 to the negative fifth kilometers. And we want to know how many micrometers that is. So I start by 3.45 times 10 to the negative fifth kilometers. Kilometers go on the bottom. Micrometers go on the top. Um, a kilometer is larger and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to the ninth, which means we get an answer of 3.45 times 10 to the fourth micrometers. Okay, or 34,500 micrometers. Letter E, we have 4.6 times 10 to the 11th nanometers. We want to know how many meters that is. 4.6 times 10 to the 11th nanometers. Nanometers need to be on the bottom. Meters go on the top. A meter is larger, and it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to the ninth, which means I end up with 4.6 times 10 to the second meters, or 460 meters. And uh, the final one on our ChemQuest here, letter F of number 11, 31.95 megagrams is how many kilograms? So again, I start with my 31.95 megagrams. Megagrams have to go on the bottom. Kilograms go on the top. A megagram is bigger. It's 1, 2, 3, 10 to the 3rd. 
which means we have 31,950 kilograms. So again, what's important here is that you're setting up your problems. Um, I do this every time just because I think it's easier. A lot of times these will be story problems. And I don't really like looking back at story problems to figure out what I'm supposed to do. So I find it easier to summarize what I have to do. So that is um, the corrections for ChemQuest number six, converting units.